بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہ صلی اللہ محمد و علیہ دا فورتھ موسٹ امپارٹنٹ بلیف آف اے مسلم از ٹو بلیو ان ڈیسٹنی وی مس بلیو دیٹ اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ ڈی ناٹ کریٹ اس اینڈ دس یونیورس فار اسپورٹ بٹ ہی کریٹڈ ایوری تھنگ فار اے اسپیسیفک ریزن اینڈ اکارڈنگ ٹو ہز پلان دیر از ناٹ اے لیو دیٹ فالس بٹ اٹ فالس ڈیو ٹو اللہ پلان اینڈ ول ہی سیٹ اے میجر فار ایوری تھنگ ہاؤ مچ وی ول ارن ہاؤ لانگ ایچ ون آف اس ول لو ویدر وی ول بی گڈ اور بیڈ اٹ از آل ریٹن ڈاؤن ان پرزرو ٹیبلٹ لانگ بفور وی ور بارن Believing in destiny makes life easy for us on earth. When we know that what we would earn is already preordained, then we do not have to stress and worry about making money, but we will do what is necessary. We do not have to worry about planning and saving for endless eventualities, because we would know that what is to happen will happen, and no matter how much we plan, we would still face difficulties if that is our destiny. It also makes us better people because we will not be greedy, selfish people, but instead we will strive for the betterment of all because we know that our possessions are not really ours. It will make us easygoing in our dealings with others. When we endure losses, we will take it gracefully and when we experience successes, then we will not boast and brag about it because we know that these are all from the, these are all from the bones of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Believing in destiny, therefore leads to contentment, peace and happiness and it affords us the space to think about our Creator and why we are. On a much bigger scale, believing in destiny is not only about what happens to us in this worldly life, but it is also about what happened before we were born and most importantly what will eventually happen to us when we die. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a much bigger plan for us than just this life on earth. He has created us so that we could rise to become His greatest creation, which entails us being good. The Holy Prophet Muhammad wasallam submitted his will totally to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And look, how great is his achievements, how powerful, how enlightened, how inspiring and how outstanding he became. This is the example of the most perfect creation of Allah. It is for the likes of the Holy Prophet Muhammad wasallam that Allah created not only humanity but this entire universe. This is a bigger actual destiny that we are created for and we must follow the example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad wasallam to fulfill this destiny. What all of this boils down to is that we must learn to trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for everything and be happy with whatever He has destined for us. We must align our wills to His will and we must try to do that which will please Him. We know that we have freedom of choice and some will question as to how can we have freedom of choice if our destiny is already written. Simply, although we have this free will to do as we please, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all powerful and He already knows what choices we are going to make even before we made them and He has written this down as our destiny long before we were born. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us on the straight path, to give us the strength to overcome our carnal desires so that we could become that which will please Him. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.